Hi guys, it's been really long since I made any video on radiation oncology per se. So the number one topic that I've been getting repeated request is the books that you should be reading. So I made a list and I'll be telling you from that and uh, I'll be putting the names of the books uh, in the description so you can go ahead and check out those. So I'll tell you uh, from the first year like how you start reading and uh, how you can get your books. So the most important book uh, in your first year of residency in radiation oncology is AJCC Manual of Staging. Yes, so it has like seven or eight uh, editions till now. I think the current one is eighth edition. So you can go ahead and buy that book or uh, look for the PDF of AJCC Manual because in all the three years you will be working on different cases and you have to know the staging of all the tumors because you guys will be sitting in the OPDs and uh, seeing the patients and uh, when you take history of a patient so number one thing that you are expected to do after your clinical history and examination is make diagnosis of that patient uh, with the staging so the correct staging is done with AJCC manual and along with that just a bonus books that I'll be telling you the book that you might uh, you will read for examining the patients is Esdas and Kundu so Esdas is uh, from the surgery part which I am sure that you must have read in your MBBS and Kundu is from the medicine part so these two books that you should have from your MBBS uh, these and another important book is Grey's Anatomy. Yes, you have to be really thorough with your anatomy, especially in your first year, because you'll be diagnosing the cases uh, along with the proper staging. That is what you are expected to do when you're sitting in the OPD as a first year resident. Uh, so yes, you have to be really thorough with the anatomy of the cases. Like uh, if you get a breast cancer patient, so you will examine the patient. So you'll just see how the examination proper examination is done from the kundu and then uh, you will you know size the lump and then you will go back into the AJCC manual and stages uh, stage it accordingly and then you show it to your uh, consultant and they will verify it for you so this is how it is done when you are uh, posted in OPDs now these are the books that are from the MBBS days what uh, is the book that you are uh, expected to read as a radiation oncologist especially in first year so the first year if i have to pick two subjects that are most important as a first year resident as a radiation oncologist are radiobiology and physics apart from the anatomy of course so radiobiology you will be having many classes on so it is uh, the um, it is the subject where you will be knowing uh, how a radiation kills a tumor so what is the biology that goes inside a tumor when a radiation hits a tumor so that is uh, all what radiobiology talks about there are various graphs and various mechanism so the book for that is is there are two books EJ Hall or Kogel so we used to read EJ Hall and sometimes Kogel so you can read any one of them I'm telling you obviously the books that I have read uh, myself as a resident and of course different centers have can have different uh, books and preferences and there are also some other additional books uh, that you will be reading in your final year that we'll talk about later now talking about uh, the uh, physics part so for the physics part uh, there is a one uh, whole soul book that is khan's uh, lecture so there are two books of khan's one is the short book that is the handbook uh, that is black in color and the big book that is white in color that is how i used to differentiate but i never read the short book we all always had to read the white one the big one so it is very complicated and uh, you cannot comprehend it just by reading it you must have uh, you know a uh, physics lecture separately in your department and there are also classroom 124 or something like that uh, on youtube there is a channel for the physics lectures which you will need it because physics is the tricky subject here now 
uh, uh, when I talked about anatomy, so that was just the gross anatomy part, uh, which you need to know. But apart from that, as a radiation oncology, you also need to know the CT anatomy because you'll be reading the scans, you'll be reading the CT scans, MRIs, and PET scans at times. So for that, you will need CT anatomy, and of course, for contouring later on, when you will contour the tumors and organ at risk near the tumor locations, so that uh, you have to be very thorough. What are the normal structures? Uh, and uh, how to label them so the book is called CT anatomy manual of radiotherapy again I'll be mentioning the names and if possible the images uh, of the cover pages of these books now coming to the chemotherapy manual so uh, chemotherapy manual debita and shoe is what we used to read so you can uh, read it uh, from that and there is uh, uh, also a, a book for chemotherapy that I'll tell you later on I just forgot about that now now talking about the uh, the textbook as a radiotherapy uh, subject uh, what are the textbook that to whole and soul talk about the subject per se so there are three main textbook uh, which you should know about and you can pick any one of them and just try uh, which one you feel connected to or understand better so number one is Paris. Paris is uh, like the Bible and uh, it's a uh, second and third edition which uh, were, uh, you know, uh, which were, uh, I think, which came out in 90s or uh, so. They are still valid at least at centers where you practice 2D radiotherapy because 2D radiotherapy is not given at all all uh, uh, the places uh, because in most books they only talk about the 3d radiotherapy but if you want to read 2d radiotherapy sometimes from amazon you can order we order from amazon us at our uh, time so that was the uh, second or third edition of Paris. if you can get that the second book is gunderson it also talks about radiotherapy in detail and it is also a good book and third is devita devita just not only talks about radiotherapy but also chemotherapy this is another book uh, that uh, you might read now these are the most important books that you should know about apart from these books there are some books that uh, you can refer when you know you have some confusions or queries and uh, they are not the textbook but you can always take uh, help from them so though these are the books that uh, i'll be mentioning uh, in the description again because uh, i have not noted them down so just uh, apologizing for not making that uh, list thorough list but uh, i will putting them in description and if you have any queries regarding the books or the syllabus or anything just uh, shoot in the comments and uh, if possible share this video like this video so that i know that somebody is watching it and uh, till that uh, just take care and